the radical and ethically difficult frontier is the emergence of digital immortality. Startups like Hereafter AI and Project December are already developing technology that allows for the creation of interactive AI avatars of deceased individuals. By training an AI on a person's collected writings, emails, and other communications, these services could create a digital ghost that family and friends can converse with after their death. This concept reframes AI companionship as a form of dynamic inheritance. This means that after someone dies, someone could leave behind an interactive version of themselves capable of sharing stories, offering advice, and preserving a semblance of their personality for their loved ones. This creates an entirely new concept of digital grief. If users already experience very real heartbreak when a generic AI companion is altered or shut down, the emotional stakes of an avatar of a deceased loved one are exponentially higher. And this c could raise a host of all new problems. Could interacting with a digital ghost trap the living in an endless synthetic grief, preventing them from healthily processing their loss? Who controls the digital AI legacy? Could a person's AI be altered or manipulated or used for commercial purposes after their death? These are a lot of difficult questions.